All right, guys. We are going to get a reading again because I am feeling extremely triggered. So, I need to step into the spirit and out of the stupid of <laughs> this world. Um, let's see here. Ah. <laughs> I just grabbed all the ashes. We're going to light some dragon's blood. Or, here, how about this? How about if we have frankincense? Also known to get rid of the spirit. But also, I'm not even going to say it. Uh, okay. Um, one second. Okay. Story time. Everyone who comes to my channel knows that the spirit that I tap into is the divine spirit of truth, which is the spirit that Jesus left here when he went to heaven, right? Jesus told us specifically the things that you ask of the divine spirit of truth. He will tell you, he will tell you of the things that are to come for you. He said it, he will not tell you about him but he will tell you about you, right? Because spirit of truth is not going to tell you specifically what date Jesus is or God's going to return. He will not tell you about him because he wants the world to be ready, but he will tell you about you. <laughs> On YouTube... <laughs> Having an argument best about how witches are so horrible because they burn sage and they cleanse. Now, I'm going to show you why, why cleansing and burning sage, burning or having frankincense or everything like that is actually something that we do for God. You know why we used to light the candle? Because it's the light that we burn that is the symbol that God is the light to this world. Okay? When you light sage, when you light a candle, when you light anything to cleanse the area, if that candle is able to be lit that means the area is ready for you and is purified, right? Because if the light is there, evil cannot be there. When and where can the light of God not be? In the darkness. Jesus went into body form to go into the darkness but the Spirit of God Himself cannot go into the darkness. So when you light and you see the 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 light, I want to show you something. Look at my shadow. Here's my shadow, right? Here's the candle. Which would be the light of God, right? Watch this. Watch the shadow on my face. Ready? What do you see? Do you see that light of God in the shadow? No, you don't. But where God is, is here. Now, I'm still letting the room cleanse. But um, when you light, when you cleanse, it's not only a getting rid of the evil. It is actually allowing you to know that there is goodness, that there is light, that there is God in the world. Or in your home. Jesus says, sprinkle 
or cleanse the temple. He also says, cleanse or sprinkle the tents, which means to purify them. Jesus was born. He was gave what? Frankincense. <laughs> they washed their feet and God found it holy. Why? Because it was then made clean. If you don't believe in cleansing, then you don't believe in Jesus' whole purpose, which was to come to cleanse your soul by his blood. The blood of the lamb, which is also an anti-venom to a snake bite. Anyways, let's get into this because... All right, Spirit. What do we got? <laughs> Go figure. Tin of fire. Someone. <laughs> this is how I felt today. 100%. Like, ugh. Can't even. <laughs> can't even. All right. The Hermit. We got Virgo here. <laughs> I also feel like that spirit saying whoever it is that was in that energy has had to pull back. I had to pull. <laughs> I personally had to pull back because, oh, I was not even, <laughs> I was not even having it. I was like, I was like, first of all, you know, mm. oh gosh, first of all, you read something wrong, you quoted something wrong, and then you sat here, oh, I, should... I pulled a card right before I got on here, guys, like, I'm not, I'm not even joking, and this is what Spirit said, <laughs> forgive them, that is what Spirit said to me when I pulled the card when I sat down <laughs> all right, now, going forward, the energy God wants us to be in, oh, I always say, I've got green hair or new hair, I don't care. That's my woo saw saying. That's my... <laughs> That's how I dispel, you know, as like a, just like a, a really funny saying. New hair, don't care. <laughs> All right, we got Ace of Earth and we have the Queen of Fire. All right, so we got a Queen of Wands and we have the Ace of Earth. All right, so we have a new opportunity coming. Um, and someone is freaking determined to um, go for this. I don't know if it's like a new opportunity in work or just a new opportunity to grow yourself or to partner with someone. We're going to find out. Either way, you're excited. <laughs> and you're as determined as I was to not take it anymore. <laughs> Oh, look, another ace. We have the ace of fire. And we have the ace of wands. We have the lovers. We have the moon. Holy major arcana. And we have the awakening. So, no wonder why you're so determined. You got two aces. And, um... Two aces and three major arcanas. You got the lovers, the moon, and the awakening. <laughs> that to me just said, forgive them for they know not what they do, right? Because the lovers is a choice. The moon is the secrets, the things that they don't know. And the awakening is the pause that they need to take so that they can see what is actually going on. The Awakening is also the card for selflessness and persp <laughs> perspective. Okay, now for other <laughs> for other people who are not fighting on YouTube right now. Um, let's see here. You have a new um, a new opportunity with the Queen of Fire. <laughs> so this new opportunity with the queen of fire, you know, there's going to be, there's, there's things that you don't know about this person. Y you know, it's kind of, <laughs> it, 
it's it's kind of like you're pausing to see because you don't <laughs> you don't know it's kind of like you could have met online or something but you gotta pause because it might be that douchebag that you're arguing with on youtube it's kind of it's kind of like giving that kind of theory vibe okay so it's but it's a choice it's like someone has this option that <laughs> that, <laughs> that is coming available right um and with the seven of air which is the seven of swords usually the seven of swords talks about um you know someone who's coming and cheating or stealing or whatever but in this case like in this deck it means um you know just being cautious you know trying to be aware of something <laughs> like i'm not even gonna lie like i posted this big thing and i was like spirit told me he was like no he's like <laughs> he's like i heard the whole you know <laughs> the day of judgment is coming so just let it go <laughs> and don't even get into it because it could start out like a whole another level of stuff that you so when you think about the consequences this could be someone who's looking and you know it may do more damage to someone else than good like um someone's like if i take this opportunity will it hurt anybody else if i have this opportunity um, if I take this opportunity, what are, what's going to happen to all people involved? So this is someone who is stepping out of being selfless or selfish into being selfless, right? They're now at this point in time, not thinking about only their selves, but they're thinking about how things will affect others as well. Um, but they are <laughs> overthinking about it. And this may be causing them to procrastinate. Because like the seven of water a lot of times is what are the options? You know, someone having a lot of options. But in this deck it doesn't necessarily mean that. It means over analyzing it it may may mean overthinking something maybe you know thinking about something too much to the point where they don't go in faith I never actually thought about it that way but if you overthink something it's kind of like <laughs> maybe maybe you have a, a tiny bit of doubt in there when you start to overthink i don't know sometimes <laughs> and this is someone who's being told you know um to have faith to step out with the leap of faith you know all right i'm gonna read these upright Because we need some stuff to come out or upright. Not that they're all going to be upright or good meanings. All right, so we have the nine of earth, someone who's trying to be stable. We have the third ace, guys, ace of earth, ace of air, and we have the knight of earth. Okay, so. Look at this knot of earth here. I don't think this person is coming in to give something. Because we have the the we have the nine of earth here. The nine of earth and the not the knight of earth. But she's sitting here holding on to this last coin. It's kind of like she has an offer to give, but she doesn't know. Um, this seems like someone's waiting on communication with this Ace of Air here. And they want... Maybe it's like someone's waiting for an okay. Okay. <laughs> 
Okay, someone's being responsible. Um, obviously, unlike me on YouTube, <laughs> on YouTube today, I'm just like, ugh. This is someone who's actually waiting and listening. It's kind of like, let go, <laughs> go, let go and let God. Maybe just in the middle of it, they're just overthinking. You know, kind of like how you would sit there and just go through all the in the in your mind all the different ways things could play out and stuff like that. Maybe it's not that someone's doubting. It's just that someone's procrastinating because they're waiting. Because um, that can mean both of those. So that, I think that's going to be two separate people though. Someone's doubting and so, someone's waiting. And if that's the actual situation, if this is another person, someone's doubting and someone's waiting, that, that is not a call for like a good outcome. That's like having everything that all the ingredients to make something amazing, but you keep waiting because you're waiting for someone to tell you if you should put one teaspoon of sugar in or two, and you want to wait because you need to hear exactly so that you don't <laughs> mess everything up. So you're going to sit here and wait and wait and wait. And now every one of your ingredients are expired. So, <laughs> I mean, I'm going to say this right now. You have three yeses. Earth sun, air sun, fire sun. Three yeses. But someone is afraid to make a choice because they don't know. Just go with Mary Poppins. A spoonful of sugar helps the medicine go down, right? Okay, so just go with it. Mix the ingredients. Like, and if it's not sweet enough, add another spoonful of, of sugar. <laughs> you know, wing it. Sometimes you got to be your own wing. <laughs> Sometimes you got to be your own wing, man. The emperor, what the heck are you doing? What the heck are you doing here, emperor? Look at this. The emperor knows what the heck he wants. <gasps> Guys, the emperor knows what he wants. the empress the emperor wants to change for the empress <laughs> so we have the emperor the chariot the empress all right Oh my God, I want to stop there. <sighs> Back to the, I can't even <laughs> look at the high priestess. All right, we, <laughs> we're going to read this the good way, right? We're not reading it the original way. As the original tarot, we're reading <laughs> as these, the meanings for these cards, right? This talks about, this would then translate to the emperor is either he's coming in to see his empress. He's coming in to um, communicate with his empress. He is going to change for his empress. Um, or someone is finally recognizing and realizing who the actual empress <laughs> is. That's kind of <laughs> the wisdom and the patience is too late. <laughs> this is like God is about to reveal to someone, hey, you know, <laughs> a person that irritates the living shit out of you, the one that, you know, corrects you when you're wrong, the one who tries to put you 
on the truth, on the path of the truth, to do the things good for you. <laughs> the one who was trying to keep you out of trouble, the one that irritates you, that one. <laughs> Not the one who um, lets you do whatever you want to do, but the one <laughs> who fights you. The one who just like irritates the living shit out of you. The one that you've walked away from. The one that you feel you just cannot forgive. The one who even gives you nightmares. The one who you wished for. The one who you wished for see the difference in being a good witch and a bad witch is you cannot cross the moral boundaries you cannot take away someone's free will <laughs> so sorry hate to say it i mean you can for a little bit of time but then you still have to owe a demon you don't want that you don't want to cross that line you don't want that okay if you're going to pray to God for love, true love, then you're going to get the love that's actually real for you, whether you like who it is or not. <laughs> because the right person for you might irritate the living shit out of you. All right. So here you are wishing upon this star. I can't even I heard spirit just say they come in the emperor was like wait no not that one I don't want it to be that one please God not that one I want <laughs> maybe it's a different one and spirit's like calm down <laughs> calm down <laughs> like spirit I, I could hear spirit <laughs> still woman calm down <laughs> Like, or, you know, they, you're like, oh my God, am I, am I really in love with this one? God, please, please, please. Like, here you are, you're praying to God, please, God, please, God. <laughs> Let it be anybody else. What's that song? Don't take the girl by Tim McGraw. He's like, can it be anybody else? Can I take Timmy? Johnson or Tommy Thompson just don't take that girl you know so it's kind of like <laughs> so someone is praying someone is trying to find out you know um what they're supposed to do but there's someone here it's like there, there's someone that they they didn't forgive it's some, I just heard it's because they didn't forgive themselves. They didn't forgive themselves. Because they didn't go back and communicate. That would be like... <laughs> <laughs> that recipe where you have all your ingredients out and you're like, I don't know if I should use one teaspoon or two. And then you're like sitting here waiting and waiting and waiting, you know, your ingredients go out, but you never asked anybody. You never looked up what the ingredients were. Like You just sat there like, I don't know. <laughs> not going to call them. I'm not going to talk to them. I'm just going to be like, I guess it's all that. <laughs> and now someone's like, oh, <laughs> I better run in really fast and give her my wand. <laughs> better get this stick in this, this thing. Look, because what's going to happen is justice is going to come for the situation. The love that was prayed for. Justice is still going to come. And with the Ten of Pentacles, this is their wish fulfillment. 
It's it's kind of, <laughs> but like God showing me the <laughs> like God showing me the ark, and <laughs> it's like God's like the door is closed. The door is closing, and like you see someone running really, really fast so that they can get on the ark before the door closes. Like, like that last unicorn that's trying to make it, <laughs> and they're like afraid that the door is gonna close before they get on the ark, and then all the unicorns are then gonna be extinct. <laughs> like, what the heck? I don't know. <laughs> All right. So someone is, is in the energy of, <laughs> of, you know, it's just like they need to find balance and they may, this person may know that they have to prioritize something. And this would be like, I don't know if maybe this person tried to get everything right before. Um, it's kind of like when you want to start a family, but then you build up this money, build up this money, build up this money. And you don't take the time to put into the family. You're putting in all this time for work so that you could be stable. But then you miss out on the person that you had before you. And yes, you can miss out on an opportunity. Like... What's for you is not always going to be for you in the 3D. I don't care what anybody says. Okay. Because God gives you these opportunities. What you do with them is what matters. And as I always say, you know, you think of the story of Moses, how he was promised. He was promised what? What was Moses promised? He was promised the promised land. He was promised everything. Um, uh, wish fulfillment. He was promised a happy home, a happy, you know, family, you know, a generation, you know, if that's what he was promised, but then here he is and he's sitting alone and that's all a memory. Why? Because he didn't take one of those aces, and do something with it. He waited and waited and waited and waited because He wasn't finding the correct balance in his life because he was in the lack mindset. Okay, so here's why. We've got multiple fives. We have the five of pinnacles and the five of heirs. You know, so this is somebody who, this person could have left their empress out in the cold. Like literally, someone could have walked away from their empress being like, I'm going to just go, <laughs> I'm going to go taste all those other cakes that other people may, <laughs> I'm just going to, you know, taste test them. And then when they get back home, all their ingredients are ruined. So someone here is not taking action because they, <laughs> they don't know one spoonful or two. And the other person is off taste testing other cakes. They're taste testing other cakes. <laughs> and now someone has to reassess the situation about the, the mistakes they made. And the other person has to realize, like this card actually means melodramatic as well. Like the other person has to be like, you know, maybe I was going a little bit overboard. I sh <laughs> shouldn't have been so crazy. But you never say that to a woman, right? Like, <laughs> we have two pages here. And I'm not getting the energy of that these are children. This is, well, I mean, they could, it could be teenagers. I, like, I could be telling the story from the teenager mindset because I still feel so freaking happy. Like, before, <laughs> like, the happy feeling that you have before like, the world ruins your point of view on all things you know because you're just like this person was sitting here like should I put one spoof in or two hmm I don't even know <laughs> so
I just heard just call your mama. Like what? Like the the door is closing. Like someone's afraid they're gonna be like, hell no, go home. The door's the ark is now closing. Guys, the ark is closing. But we have these two pages, right? These two pages. I think these are two people coming back with an actual innocent energy. Like, I'm not even holding the page. <laughs> the fuss of earth. Maybe the page of fire was left out in the cold. I don't know. All right, anyway. <laughs> now we're back to the correct person. Yeah. <laughs> someone thought it was someone else. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. So now we have the two people that, you know, these, these could be people that just, they were innocent. Maybe they were just afraid to, someone was afraid to speak or someone was afraid to be like emotional. I mean, because they're afraid that they're going to be left out in the cold again. It's kind of like if every time you tell someone how you feel, if they kick your ass for it every time, like you're going to start getting afraid. Like, so this could be some, someone in this energy has been through toxic relationships. Like there's some healing they still need to do because if this is the energy I'm getting that's coming in, that's. God's spirit is trying to work with this, these people, these two, to get them back to that energy of innocence. What's that song? It's like the Indian chanting. The Indians are chanting in it. Is it the return of innocence? Yeah, that, that's what it is. That, that's what spirits see, like playing in my head. The return of innocence, right? We have these two pages. These two pages. There was actual love here. <laughs> but someone annoyed the other one. <laughs> you can't even make this up. This is literally the card that means someone is annoying. Right? So <laughs> someone gets on the other person's nerves. But look at this. The Ace of Water. All the Aces. Someone now has all of the Aces. Maybe that's the reason why at this time someone's running back like gotta get in there before the door closes because i'm finally ready I just, <laughs> I just heard autobots roll out like what like what the heck's been like with this babies or but i just heard autobots roll out like the wheel is the completion of something like the door is finally closed. It's time to take off now, you know? So. <laughs> so. This is spirits telling someone, don't worry, okay? The nine of wands usually means, you know, what are you going to do? Are you going to keep going because it, it's got so heavy are you gonna keep going because you or are you gonna keep going because you've almost got there there's two ways to look at something in every situation are you gonna keep going or are you gonna give up the the answer the answer to that is always within you it is always within you it is never anybody else's choice it is all yours i mean like i mean if someone like Literally, if God closed the door on the ark before you could 
like saw you come in and like push that button like on the elevator so that the door closes before you get in there like th that would be different but on just like a general thing you still have the power to decide do you want to keep going there's been a lot of fights there's been a lot of annoyances but in the heart of it all the child inside you the you that's you both of these two people are innocent they both have a good heart you know they could have been brought together and have all the weight of the world you know <laughs> i went saying like they have the happiness kind of by before the world got to them and they're like oh i hate everyone <laughs> i hate everything you know so now i'm gonna spend my time arguing with people on youtube <laughs> so we have the two of fire someone's planning planning on having you know moving to calmer waters maybe if we go back and we fix this maybe if someone calms down we can fix this situation and for the love of god if you are a man do not say this to a female okay but this is a queen of, of water this is a good person you know, this person is loving. They are very caring. They are very giving. They could be very psychic because, you know, water signs are very psychic. Like if you have water in your big three, you're bound to be to have a form of psychic intuition because, you know, like water will tell something long before it gets there. <laughs> That's why when you watch, um, what is a Jurassic Park you don't know that the dinosaur is coming but you look in the water and you see the ripples you're like oh my god that way you know the water can tell long before it gets there <laughs> it's kind of like <laughs> you know, seeing like Moses seeing like the t-rex is all the way off here being like Moses like trying to push the button on there close the door close the door close the door <laughs> you know <laughs> <laughs> so but this is someone who was afraid okay <laughs> like, probably as afraid as Moses would have been if he saw the t-rex coming towards the ark you know but like this person is genuinely afraid but they genuinely have a good heart yeah with the four of earth you know, someone is really afraid because they're trying to hold really tight. Oh my God. Because if we literally got the queen of water to the king of water, someone may just be afraid and they're trying to control the way the situation goes, right? This is like literally the story of someone being oh jesus this is like don't go do that don't go do this don't go do now like if you're in an abusive relationship this is completely different like if it's an abusive relationship you don't leave but this is just someone who is just like so afraid that you know you're gonna step out of the ark and then go get in someone else's ark like honey this is the only ark that is coming this is the only ark that's got built you might like this is our ark get in get in it's time to roll out <laughs> like and still someone's like let me think about it. <laughs> let me think about it <laughs> look i just heard like get in we got to go <laughs> and then we have someone here who's just like taking their sweet time in here here you have moses like m what is her what's her name it's <laughs> she's he's like hurry up <laughs> the t-rex is coming get in the arch put one spoonful in there just do it like 
just hurry up and just do it okay just do it already just go for it just make the choice you're gonna be <laughs> oh my god you're gonna be stable this is your person how many times do i have to tell you just get in the ark just get in the ark <laughs> like get in the ark we gotta go because <laughs> jesus is like god's like the earth <laughs> the ark is closing i just heard the earth is closing like hurry up guys hurry up <laughs> and he's like wait hold on a second i gotta get the mail <laughs> like what the it's like these people are it's it's they're too, they're getting too prepared like moses is sitting here saying you know or noah's sitting here saying and the whole world is going to be flooded and this person's worried about checking their mail. You know, it's kind of like, you know, of course there wasn't mail back then. It was the scrolls. But like, you know, hold on, dad, I got to type out this scroll here. And it's like, shoot me, get your asses in, the, in this boat now. <laughs> you know, it's like, hold on, dad, I got a love letter from this other chick that I was talking to. I don't know which wife to take on the ark now you know <laughs> and then like it's like like Noah's hollering you know, Jesus Jesus take the wheel I gotta get these children <laughs> you know it's like oh Jesus please please like <laughs> like green hair don't care all right so because <laughs> someone's like they keep focusing on, they had been, they spent so long of focusing on what broke their heart, what they did wrong, what they did wrong. Maybe, maybe it could be what someone else did wrong, but, but God tells us all we have to do is ask for forgiveness. <laughs> <laughs> this, 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 this. the angel is blowing the last trumpet <laughs> like all into the world is coming you know like but this is maybe that's the complete difference of these two people maybe someone's like you know maybe if we just forgive one another it'll be okay and the other person's like listen the the last trumpet has been blown this is the end like it's over like <laughs> that could be the reason why someone only gave a little bit someone was possibly giving more than the other person we have a queen of air to the four of water in the world that is the energy we have someone who's like, maybe we can just forgive each other. And the other person's like, listen, it's fucking over. You know? Either that or that's the two angels that are on their sides. Because remember, you could be entertaining angels unaware, but which angels are you entertaining? Because the Bible says some of the angels are demons. Do you know which are which? You don't know. You have to test the spirits. You have to light the candle to make sure that it's the good energy. You know, it's kind of like whenever you watch the horror movies, whenever someone goes into a church and you see an evil entity go in there, all of the candles blow out. Why? Because at that time, you know, God can't look upon sin. He can't look upon the harshness of this world. That's why when jesus hung on the cross he had to turn his he had to turn his face away from the pain that was going to be caused to his son this is like somebody realizing you know this this could be like someone coming for an intervention like get your ass in the car we're going like we're going because we need to get you there Someone, either way, someone needs healing. But, I don't even know. I just, I just lost my thing here. Like,
with me because we have someone here who's like, la la la. You know, I'm holding this, I have this huge sword and this other person's just like sitting here crying. Someone's going to speak their truth and it, that could have been what happened. Someone could have spoke their truth and it could have made the other person be like, well, listen, I, if, if that's how you feel, you know, I don't even want to talk to you when the person is, it's kind of like what, when, when a female wants to, or a male wants to talk to their partner about how they feel about so how something hurt them and instead of the other person listening about how they hurt this person they turned it around to to play victim kind of like um it would be like someone saying you know this hurt when you did this to me you know like this hurt me a lot and instead of the other person saying, I'm sorry, I, I really didn't mean it that way. The other person's like, so what? Now I'm not good enough for you. I always do everything wrong. Like, what is your problem? Like, if you just don't want to be here, then I'm just going to pull out. You know, it's kind of, it's kind of like that energy, which is freaking narcissistic as, <laughs> you know, I don't know. I'm just, just saying, because we, we have an air and a fire. A fire sign could have been juggling an air sign. Um, or an air sign could have been... Air sign could have been juggling a fire sign. A Leo? Strength is the Leo card. Because the three of water is literally cheating, guys. I mean, I tried not to read it. But that's the only card that I won't not read. I tried so hard a long time ago to be like, yeah, let's celebrate. But, I mean, either there is someone's getting completely plastered off their ass or they're cheating. The Three of Pentacles would be like, not as bad. Like, it's just like, but the, the Three of, of Cups, that's like, they're banging in their car in the parking lot. Or, for the love of God, let's hope it's not in your bed when you're gone. But, um, this is like someone says they have to go somewhere but instead of going where they're supposed to go they find 15 minutes to squeeze in um i think what's going to happen is someone's going to find out If someone doesn't find out, literally, someone's going to be... The person who's like, you know, it's over. This person could be like, listen, someone... You're going to learn today. Like, we're not doing this shit no more. We're not. With this, um... Eight of her, someone's looking at details. Someone's like checking it's it's like someone looking at someone's bank account seeing where they spent the money like are you freaking kidding me you went to hooters you went to this place you went to this place you went to this place you spent three hundred dollars at the strip club and we literally had only that enough money to pay to get little tommy to get his braces i don't know I literally heard it's it's like which it would be a man because it would be <laughs> weird if it was you know a woman saying this to a man but the the man's like are you seriously kidding me we had all of these bills we have so much of this debt you had things that we need to do and instead you went out drinking with the ladies <laughs> we got a tramp stamp of a butterfly <laughs> like this is this is so awkward like 
<laughs> maybe that's how someone feels because they're like, this is so awkward. But this person that I'm with, like, it's like they're not doing the things that they need to do. They have responsibilities. They have things that they need to do. But instead, they're like doing the complete opposite of it. Like they're not listening. They're not listening. They're putting, they're being immature in their communication. You know, they're not like someone could be coming in with the truth, you know, that somebody does know that something needs to be released, either a person or a bad habit. This is like, this is like, um, a karmic or a karmic situation or something like that. It like, it's like, it's time to go, bitch. Like pack it up. It's over. If it doesn't fit on the boat, we're not taking it. And here we are. So, hmm, I don't know which I don't know which dress to take. They're like, how do I choose which which penguin? <laughs> I don't know which penguin to take with me. He's like, maybe this one. Like, my soulmate, I want this one. Or do I? Because now I'm at a freaking crossroad again. And Spirit's like, listen, bitch. <laughs> you got a choice. You got a big ass choice to make. Do you want your soulmate or do you want your twin flame? Which do you want? You want your soulmate, your six of water, or do you want your twin flame, your four of wands? But you must choose. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> like, <laughs> I told you at the beginning, this said this was going to be overly <laughs> dramatic. Like, this is how someone is going to feel. Like, this <laughs> gives me anxiety. But it's hilarious at the same time. And it's all because this person's in their freaking ego. They're in their ego. You know, it's like they're not in the now. Okay. The ego is, is not, the ego is the false self of you. Like, yeah, that's how you can manifest because you have to, you know, fake it till you make it. But whenever it calls for true, um, innocence for you to be able to bring true innocence into something, you need to be in the now and to be in the now, you have to drop the ego now, how you drop the ego is stepping into the presence, like, woo Like, it's bringing you back to focusing on what's going on right now. Like, my hair's green. <laughs> it smells like freaking sensation here, <laughs> you know? My breathing... It's coming into the now. Get it coming back into your body. Into you. Into where you're supposed to be. It's like grounding yourself. Um, it's kind of like, you know, how a lot of people will use crystals. Like on my floor down here, usually when I'm doing readings. Hold on, I'll show you. When I'm doing my readings, I ground. This is on my on my floor. This is the stone that helps you ground. It also helps you hold on. The stone, it helps you ground, but it also helps you have trust. You know, and it's kind of like it's not gonna be easy because if you put that picture that's on my stone. As in really actually being in the time of Noah and Noah having to choose. Like, oh my gosh, it's making me burp. It's confirmation. And look, this just started on its own. So spirits here. But this is kind of like, you know, how it's not going to be easy because just like that Indian is looking, you know, at those horses. If that was Noah, he's sitting here having to choose. 
which animal? Could you imagine how hard that would be? Knowing that you warned everyone. Everyone. You've got to get on this boat. You know, if you don't make it onto this boat, you know, you're not going to survive. And begging. And then when the seal is closed, when the door is closed, there's nothing you can do. And then knowing everyone that you've ever known and everything that you've had is going to be gone. And then it's like, you know, you had three horses. And now you have to choose which one you want to take onto the ark with you because you can't take them all. Well, I mean, wait, it was, okay, I guess you could take, I'm pretty sure a horse would be a clean animal. It's, it's two of the unclean and seven of the clean. So that way that there was food for some of them to eat, you know, but you know, it was like, there was only so many animals and so many people that could fit on this ark. And it's like, you have to choose who gets the spot. Maybe that that's what that litter was about. You know, hold on dad. I don't know. I just got this email. I just got this text message. You know, maybe I want the other one. I don't know. Do I want my soulmate or do I want my twin flame? And someone's stuck here and they're not sure what to choose. They don't know. Soulmate or twin flame. Like this one has a pretty feather, but this one I have more fun with, you know? This one is maybe religious and, or, you know, more my style, you know, prettier to me, but this one, you know, break dances with the kids. <laughs> I, don't know. I don't know. Maybe someone's also thinking about the kids, you know, which, you know, if I do this, if I pack up everything and I hop on this ark, you know, Are the kids going to be okay? Is this the right thing to do? Should we all get on this ark or should we purposely avoid this ark? And, you know, I don't know. But someone's. Someone is realizing it. Someone is recognizing it. And that's probably what the beginning was. Someone is recognizing where their happiness is. What they wished for. You know, a lot of people, like I love dandelions. People see them as weeds and they think, oh, they're just annoying and horrible. But one, you don't realize that those little dandelions can help cure can help stop cancer they can be very nutritious they can help heal your body you know and then they turn into a, a child's wish you know so what one person sees as bad does not make it bad unless it's used to like you know do like sorcerers did back in the day where they would make stuff to kill people that is not so good <laughs> You know, it's the intention. God does not look at the person. He looks at their soul, at their intention, not at what the world sees. It's only the world that judges by what other people look like. It's only the world that judges by what other people have. So the people who are sitting here and is like, you know, will you use this to get this and you have this to have this? Well, you know what? We all have certain things that God gives us because we all have a certain role we have to play. And if you, you probably don't want to step into the role that I've had. And I probably, this is kind of like God saying, you know, everybody has a different point of view, but you can't judge. Why? Because one person is going to see that a witch is going to take dandelions and she's going to use it to make something that can help. And if someone calls them a witch and they should be put to death, 
but then they sit there and they go buy over-the-counter drug medicine. What do you think that is? Where do you think that came from? It's kind of like telling people, you know, witches are bad and they're wrong. And to read divination and see the prophecy is evil. But then we still believe in God prophesying that God telling us, you know, Jesus coming and him prophesying and him doing all the things that witches would be considered a witch today. You can't say that all things are bad. It's the intention of the heart. It is the mind and the heart when it aligns. It's the purpose behind it. Satan came to the world to rule the world, to take over the world. Jesus came to save the world and to give his own life. Satan wanted the world to bow down to him. Jesus wanted to lay down his life for those of the world. It is all about the intention because it would be like saying, you know, if, if when we, if we only, if we saw Satan and Satan was doing bad and he was hurting people. And that was the only thing we saw out of though the spirits that came from heaven. And then Jesus came here and he was a spirit that was sent here from heaven. But what was his intention? It is never about what you see as a human because your eyes don't see the big picture. You know, it's like saying, you know, a witch is going to burn in hell or someone who reads tarot cards, that's evil. But then they're sitting there wearing mixed clothes, like their shirt's half poly. It's like half satin and half, you know, cotton. The Bible says that's evil and you'll go to hell. Like these are all Old Testament things that come up in the Bible that say that they're all wrong. But why, why did Jesus die? Because when Jesus died, the veil was ripped. When the veil was ripped, then the world changed. At that time, then all we had to do was love each other. That was the only rule after that. Spirit is here now. You know, it's kind of like now it's, it's recess. And all you have to do is not go outside and knock your brother upside the head with the rock. And you'll be okay. Like, <laughs> even if sometimes you want to fight with them on the internet. Spirit saying, Woosah, let it go. So get back to you. Get back to you. You know what is good, what is right. You know what the right thing is. Because you know for you what is the right choice. Don't listen to what the world says. Don't listen to what your friends say. Don't listen to anything. What is right for you. Do you want someone who is calm and peaceful and, you know, enlightened? Do you want someone who is goofy, who likes to have fun, who likes to party? Do you like to have someone who's going to be at home, you know, baking you all these cupcakes? Do you like to have someone who's always out at the club? You know, who could have a good time when you're going out partying? You know, do you have someone that you can look up and trust? Do you want to have someone who is always going to be that person who's going to be the life of the party? And the life of the party comes with always entertaining everyone else besides you. The choice is yours. Do you want your soulmate or your twin flame? Hurry up and pick because the arc is closing. If you don't choose one, you're going to lose them both. Because the T-Rex is coming, bitch, and you got to get on that arc. All right, bye.